to make an ocean in a bag. Look at my sparkly ocean. We're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need to squeeze some hair gel into a bowl. It's really gooey. Yep, very gooey. Then you want to drop some blue food coloring into the gel. Just put in a few drops. You can always add more if you want to. Then you mix the food coloring and the hair gel together. Once your water is mixed, you're ready to make the rest of your ocean. First, you'll need a plastic bag. I'm adding some rice to make it look like sand. Now I'm gonna add some sea animals. Me too. I'm gonna add a little pink crab. I'm adding a turtle and a cute little fishy. These are just little plastic toys. You can use plastic grass for seaweed or kelp. I'm gonna use some cray paper for seaweed. Me too. If you want to, you can scrunch some of your paper up to make it look more like seaweed. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. I like sparkly water. Important tip, do not put anything sharp in the bag. If you do, it will pop the bag. Once you have everything inside, then it's time to put your water in. Can you hold the bag for me? Sure. Ooh, it's goopy. Can you hold my bag open? Sure. Yeah, there we go, that's what I need. And then you have to seal the bag. Here you go. And then you mush stuff around. Oh, it feels like cool water on a hot day. It feels so mushy and fun. You just keep squishing to mix everything together. I put in a manta ray, some seaweed, and a dolphin. It really looks like the ocean, just much more sparkly and glittery. Swim, Mr. Turtle, swim. And, and that's, that's how you make an ocean in a bag. How do we get I spy bottle? Shh, we're playing spies. We're making I spy bottles. What's an I spy bottle? It's a bottle where you spy things. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, we're gonna make colorful rice. You're going to first need a plastic bag. You put in four to five pumps of hand sanitizer. I want to make my rice red. I'm making mine blue. Then put in four to five drops of food coloring. Two, three, four. And then you're going to put a cup of rice. And just put one cup. You need to zip your bag, and then you're going to put that rice and just swish it. Just really nice. It feels so mushy. <laughs> so mushy, 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 mushy. Mine is all red now. Mine is blue. And then you need to dry your rice which will probably take an hour. You could just pour it into a bowl. This is the rice that we made earlier, and now it's dry, and now we're ready to make our ice spy bottle. And this bottle was old and recycled from sweet tea. So we're gonna have a clear bottle, a funnel, and here are some objects. So we're gonna get a scoop in the red. And the funnel makes the rice go through it, so then the rice will go into the bottle. Find some items to put inside the bottle. Here's some that we found. A paper clip, some candlesticks, some flowers, I added a blue ball. Okay, and now we're gonna write down what we just put on. 
we're gonna write things down so we can find them later. So now we're gonna get another scoop. So now we're gonna get the blue. This is gonna be nice and colorful. So I'm gonna put in the dice, and he's just gonna put in the skateboard. I'm going to put in like the red rice, and then an object, and then the blue rice, and then an object, and then a green rice, and an object, and I just repeat it and repeat it until it's full enough. Okay, so now we're gonna put in an object. So I'm going to put in the guitar, and Daniel's going to put in... A whistle. The whistle. The whistle. Okay, so now to finish our rainbow. Now I'm going to put the cap on. Now I'm going to shake it up so I can find the objects. I found the guitar. And that's how you make an ice spy bottle. Shake it, shake it, shake it! Boom, boom, boom! We made shakers. Let us show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need some recycled bottles. You can use glass or plastic, but make sure to clean out the bottle and it's all dry. Then you could fill your bottle with whatever you want. Different stuff will make different sounds. We have some beans, beads, rice, and pasta. Now I'm not gonna put too much because I don't want such a heavy sound. Let's try this out. Ooh, that's nice. I like that a lot. I'm gonna add some little beads so it doesn't make a, a boom, a boom, a boom. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put some of this nice pretty tinsel in the inside of my bottle. Do you think the tinsel will change the sound? Maybe. I'm gonna add some blue and silver ribbon. Don't fill it up all the way to the top because you want room for the things inside to shake. And then you put your cap on and seal it tight. And then you can decorate the outside too. I'm going to use some stars and smiley faces just to make it bling. I'm going to use some of these star stickers. Now these stickers are pretty. You can decorate it really any way you want. You can use ribbon, you could use duct tape. And that's how you make a shaker! How to make space sand! Landing in three, two, one! We love playing astronaut. And we're gonna show you how to make space sand so you can play too. The first thing you need to make space sand is a big bowl. The first ingredient you need is three cups of flour. I'm gonna dump the flour in the bowl. The next thing you need is gelatin, one cup of gelatin. I'm dumping the gelatin in. The gelatin color is red, and that will make your sand red too. And now we're gonna mix it together. The red and the white are coming together. It's starting to look sandy. It's starting to turn into a light red, almost like a light pink. There are little pieces of red and white in it. Next, I'm gonna add some glitter. You can put as much glitter as you want. Now we're gonna make a hole in the middle to put baby oil in. It feels very soft. Now we're gonna add a half a cup of baby oil. This is just regular baby oil. Now I'm gonna put the baby oil into the hole. Whoa. And then you mix. <laughs> it feels so mushy. It feels very hard, but it feels also a little bit wet. You could just squeeze it. You could squeeze it like actual sand. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's really cool because you can mold it into any shape you want. Or just play with it. Rover coming through the red sand. Look, astronaut one, I found a volcano. 
Astronaut One, we have discovered red sand. Landing in three, two, one. And that's, that's how you make space sand. How to make your own snow. Over the river and through the woods to grandma's house we go. We made our own snow. We're gonna show you how to make it so you can play too. To make your own snow, you'll need some baking soda. You need two cups and then you just pour it into a pan or a bowl. Then you can add some glitter to make sparkly snow. And just sprinkle the glitter all over. And next, you'll need some hair conditioner. You're gonna wanna squirt it in. It's so goopy. Next, you're gonna wanna mix it. It smells very good because we added the conditioner. The conditioner makes the baking soda stick together. It's also sticking to the spoon. It might be better to just use our hands. Time to get messy. I'm ready. It's so snowy. It's so squishy. It's snowing. If you want it stickier and clumpier, add more hair conditioner. Or you can use it nice and fine like a flurry snow. I'm gonna add more hair conditioner to make it clumpier. And I'm gonna try to make a snowman. That's a good idea. You might wanna save some of the snow as flurry snow. It's so squishy. Ooh, and it's cold too. The snow feels cold because the conditioner's kind of wet. I have the bottom of our snowman. Let's make more. There's the middle. There's the top. You can also add some toys to play in your snow. This car is having a hard time driving because the streets are covered in snow. I made a snowy mountain. Let's make the tallest one yet. It's snowing on the snowy mountain. And that's it, that's how you make homemade snow.